Hey guys, welcome to the 27C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the list view control. For this tutorial, you're going to need three buttons and a label. In order to add a list view to your form, you're going to want to go over to your toolbox and drag a list view over to the main form. You can resize it and move it to whatever location, whatever size that you would like. In order to add columns to your list view, you're just going to want to go in the upper right hand corner of your list view and click this little black triangle. Then select edit columns. You can add as many columns as you would like. I'm going to add three for the purpose of this tutorial. You can change the text of each um, column by simply editing the text in this properties panel. I'm going to name the first one name. The second one I'll have the text be address. The third one I'll make the te uh, text age. And then split away. Right now, you will not be able to see the columns in your list view. In order to view the columns, you're going to want to change the view to details. You can resize each column by hovering over the little divider right here, clicking and holding your mouse, moving your mouse either left or right. I'm going to make my name about that big and the address take up the rest of the space. A few things that I like to do in order to make my list view look a little bit nicer is enable grid lines, which will pretty much just add grid lines to your list view. And I'm not sure exactly if you'll be able to see this or not, but I'm recording in HD, so hopefully you'll be able to. But if you don't, if you can't see it, it just added um, basically a grid to your list view. Another thing that I like to do is full row select. If you don't have full row select enabled, when you select an item in the list view, it will only highlight the text in the first column. But if we enable full row select, it will highlight all the text across all of the columns. Now I'm going to show you how to add items to your list view. So just double click on button one. Now we're going to want to create a new instance of a list view item. In order to do that, simply type list view item, and then you can name this anything that you would like since it is a variable. And I'm going to call it LVI, the list view item, and then set equal to a new list view item. Now inside these parentheses right here, you can set the text for that will be in the first column for your item. So right here, since our first column is name, I'm going to type John Doe. Now, in order to set the text for the other items, or for the other columns in the list view, you're simply going to want to type lvi.subitems.add. Now, inside these parentheses, you can just type the next one. And since the next um, column in the list view is address, we're just going to want to type the person's address in here. So, John Doe's will be 123 main street. And then we're just going to repeat the process for the next um, column in the list view, which is age. So we'll just put his age right in here, which is 25. All right, now in order to add this item to the list view, we're going to want to do list view one dot items dot add. And then inside these parentheses, we will just put whatever we call our list view item. I called it LBI. So now, when we debug and click button one, we should just add a new item to the list view. There you go. All right, say now you want to get the text of an item already in your list view. So if we wanted to like highlight an item and then click this button and have the label be set to the person's name, I'll show you how to do that. So we're just gonna want to double click on button one and set label one's text Oops. to list view one dot selected items because we want um, the selected items and then we're going to want to head and then since this is an array we're going to have to put a bracket here and if you have multiple items selected you're going to have to um, go through all of these items but for right now we're just going to have it do zero because that will do the um, first item you have selected and then dot sub items now if you want to have name you would put zero inside there because this first uh, column is zero, one, and then this is two. So if we wanted the person's name, we're going to put zero. If we wanted the person's address, we're going to put one. If we wanted the person's age, we would put two. But we're going to just want to get the person's name. So we're just going to type zero right in there. And then we're going to want to do dot text, not dot to string. If you get do dot to string, you will get something weird. So just do dot text. So now when we debug, Click button one to add an item in there. Highlight this item 
and click button two, this should be, um, this label should be John Doe. And there you go. Now, if you want to change it to his age, you're just going to type a two in there. So now we should get 25 when we click that button and have this selected. Now, if you get, if you try to um, uh, get a selected item when you do not have an item selected, it will throw an error. As you can see, there you go. Now, in order to avoid that, you can just put an if statement in there saying that if there are no items selected, then just to return. So to do that, you're just going to want to do list view item or list view one dot selected items dot count is equal to zero. Then we're just going to have a return or stop right there so that we will never get to this code if there is nothing selected. So as you can see, now if we press this button, it will just stop the code right there. So we won't, it won't throw an error. Now, if we want to remove items from our list view, we can do that very easily. So just double click on button three in order to do that. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is say we want to remove um, the items that you have selected. So in order to do that, you're just gonna do list view one dot selected items and then, uh, once again, like I said, if you have um, uh, multiple items selected, you're going to have to go through all the items selected. But we're only going to deal with one item selected today. So you're just going to want to put zero in there. And then put closing bracket and then um, dot remove. And it will simply remove this item you have selected. And again, we're just going to want to put this if statement right here to make sure that if you do not have an item selected, it will not throw an error. So now, when we debug, click this button to add an item. You click this, it should remove the item right there. There you go. Now say you want to remove all of the items in the list view. In order to do that, all you have to do is do list view one or whatever you name your list view dot items dot clear. And now if we have multiple items in our list view, click this button, it will remove all of them. There you go. Um, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about how to use the list view or if you want to know how to use anything more with the list view, um, just talk to me on AIM. My AIM is ITZAdam5. Um, so, yeah, see you guys.